Call this uh, meeting of Wyoming County Fiscal Court order on this uh, 27th day of June, 2023 at 5 p.m. I'm gonna ask our Sheriff Adam Wright to come lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Absolutely. Bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. Father, we pray that you be with our leaders on the stage of God in this wonderful county. Father, we pray that you be with the people in attendance as they go home, be with their families as well. Father, we thank you for some, everything that you do for us, and we're, may we uh, continue to work for you. And Father, we love you with all our hearts. And yeah, we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Judge. Uh, before you have the May 20, 23, uh, May 23rd, and the May 30th minutes in front of you, uh, I'd like to have a motion to approve both of those. I forgot to put June 16th in there as well. You all squeeze that one in on So the June online. 15th was the, the one just... The June 15th the special call bills of the Just the bills, yeah. Make a motion to approve all three of them. Okay. Motion by Michael. I'll second all three meetings. Motion by Michael, second by Jason. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? If all of you have seen the minutes. Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. Motion carries. The uh, minutes are approved. Before you have the bill to pay payments and transfers without a late list. <laughs> There is no late list, but there's a late transfer list, and I forgot to attach it. Oh my. You know I mean, it's on payroll. Is okay. all it's on. You want okay. to go get it? We'll 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 need to do it somewhere here. Okay. You can, you can add it on there. It's the same as a late list. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, same as a late list. So I'm gonna get everybody included. a copy before you leave, but it, it's just to do with the end of the year payroll transfer. And a late transfer. Okay. Yeah. Do I hear a motion? Motion McKenna. Second. Second's all over the place. I'm going to take uh, Michael. Any discussion? Any discussions on the bills for payments, claims, and transfers? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, like sign. The bills are paid. Treasurer's financial report. You should have it in your packet. Uh, and this is just a uh, uh, show that we got it. So Acknowledgement. I'll make a motion to acknowledge. Jason, make the motion. Second. Second. My, I'm going to take uh, Larry Morphews this time. They were off everywhere too. Uh, any discussion or, or questions for the treasurer? Being none, on purpose say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Um, the cart, she's not here, is she? Okay. Uh, her financial report, uh, it's uh, the same way we just acknowledge we got it. I'll make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Kenneth. Got it. Yep. Um, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The uh, clerks. This next one is the clerk's receipt of 2022 taxes. I think the proper thing that is accepted uh, due to uh, contingent up on all it. Or, it's just a certification. Order. Yeah. Subject of it's the word I'm looking for. So this is knowledge we received that accept. Uh, Subject to audit. Yes. Okay. I'll make that motion. Motion for Jason. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, we have to do two things here just because we're fixing to enter a new fiscal year. Uh, there's nothing that you haven't already seen on this, but the wage compensation schedule, uh, we need to uh, approve it. That's 
So every one of these is exactly as it was in the budget. Yes. It's exactly what it is on the wage scale, but we just have to list each employee and what they're going to pay. here a motion. Motions. Motion by vote. Second. Second by Larry. Any discussion? Any discussion or questions? Thing nine on favor say aye. Opposed like sign. The wage compensation schedule is approved. And like then to it, but different, is the wage scale set for fiscal year 2023-2024. I think this is what you're all saying with this uh, six uh, and a half percent increase in it. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, wage scale 2023-24. I'll second that motion. Motion by Jason. And second it's all six and a half percent increase for everybody. Yeah. And okay, I, I, I will say this because we're still in discussion on it. Um, I'm so proud we were able to do that. That was uh, it was amazing that we were. I'm very happy about it. Uh, it's only fair and to. Uh, Keep our employees, we're going to have to keep them paid well. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Now this next one, I'm not even sure what that is about. I'm going to have to ask the treasurer what the capital capitalization policy is. That's where we discussed, um, instead of having a $30,000 threshold on a truck, we moved it to 60. That. We just bumped up so I wouldn't have to list everything on my schedule and appreciate it and all that yeah we lifted up we lifted up the uh, you've got a copy threshold. of it in there we lift and lifted the threshold of where you have to depreciate it out instead of just take it in the year you, you did it from 30 to 60. it's been 30 for ever since i've been here almost 15 years yeah i mean but it all had to come back through here though and this, this is just with the auditors. We don't even have to depreciate because we don't pay taxes. Yeah. But they, it just keeps me from having to add all that equipment to the schedule that they do nothing with. Okay. We have a motion. So we should accept the policy here of from thirty dollars to $60,000 change. In the I'll make that motion. Motion by Jason. Second by Kim. Is there any discussion? Being none, I'll vote for second. Aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Motion carried. Personnel, I've got a guy above them here. Oh, let me forget any of them. The first one, uh, a, uh, it's Christina Carpenter with OCEDA, changed her position title to administrative assistant. Uh, with a very small raise from 1841 to 1875. Uh, this was requested by OCDA and she te technically works for the, she works for them, but she technically works for us. Yeah. And the, and the, the, the difference in the yeah. money is coming out of their budget. It's from OCDA assistant director, uh, OCDA assistant director from administrative assistant. With that uh, 30, Four cent rise. So, and and the budget, it, we're not taking it from. No. It's not an increased our budget. It's actually no, coming it's from OCDA's budget. OCDA's budget. So it's just a roll call thing. Yeah. Callaway. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnston. Yes. <clears throat> The next one uh, is a uh, seasonal at the, at the park maintenance, Caden Henderson, uh, it's seasonal and it'll be 1271 an hour and this fits the budget, 528 is the rate, I him on an emergency order which was good only until tonight. So, so he started at 528.23. So, Rokoff. Okay. 
Callaway, yes. Morphew, yes. McKinney. Oh, hold on a second. Where are you getting 1271? That was the whole way. That's what he was hiring at, Andy. Okay. But he, I mean, he'll go. Uh, it needs to be 1353 because he will give a, he won't get a check until next fiscal year. No, okay. He already, he already got a check, check from the. Oh, okay. No, he, it's backdated for May 20th. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, um, yes. I'll start over. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's yes. 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 Uh, same rate, 1271. Uh, a real call. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Johnson? Yes. Yeah. One more to park. Joseph Moore is groundskeeper, seasonal at 1330 an hour, level two. Uh, effective, uh, I guess 625 it says here, but he's not started to work. But, okay, Six, okay, broke off. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. One more. Ah, finally the end of the pile. This last one. This is Senior Center. For the substitute meal driver, only works whenever the meal driver's out. Uh, it's, uh, its name is Jessica. Her name is Jessica Phelps, and 1358. Uh, it's level one. They work uh, approximately three to four hours a, a day, five days a week. So called. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Right. Too bad. Judge, I do have one, though, unless you've got, okay. you got another one? No. No, that's okay. it. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I do have one. We do. Do we have, what about David, then? Hold on, what? David Willis at the golf course? I didn't have that one. Part-time? No. Or part. Or part. I was told about no, I had all those. I had all these. Have you got one? We didn't have it, but I did know about it. It's also. That's just going to be a part time. Part time. Yeah. That's an open position. This is a part time groundskeeper, David Willis at the park, and it's uh, rate 1353. Uh, starts. Uh, Immediately, I don't know where that's 25. Oh, yeah, that's because that was Sunday. Yeah, yeah, but it's 625 on here, but technically, won't start to work until tomorrow or later. So, David Willis, 1353, part time groundskeeper. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Johnson? Yes. Okay. okay. It's just, it, if I make this real quick. Well, no. Okay. 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 Yeah, so it asked the court to, to consider Elijah Sumner. Uh, she would be just a summer part-time or court-time employee unfunded by the the fiscal court as far as that goes it would be within our funds at the county attorney at 1353 higher date june 1st so the court would not be paying anything out of the county attorney budget it's through okay. the, the co-check or something of that nature you say okay. part-time seasonal it's part-time seasonal will be fine okay. Okay. Yeah. part-time seasonal Alyssa sumner uh, elijah eliza sumner Elijah. Okay. You got it. Okay. Roll call. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? 
Cowley? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, okay, we've got the purchasing policies and procedures. I think we do th that every year as well. There's no changes to policies. I've just updated a couple of forms in there is all. Yeah, I'm sorry, updated what? A couple of forms, like were they turning credit card receipts or just updated? No policies were changed. Your motion? Make a motion. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. I'll second. Second by Bo Bennett. Any discussion? None. Been none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carried. Uh, same deal on the administrative code. Just because we're starting another uh, a year. There were changes made during the fiscal year, but you've all seen them and approved them at this point. So we just, uh, we're just we're just taking accept it. the administrative code. Yes. I'll make a motion to accept the administrative code for the county. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Jason in there. Any any discussion? Big now, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Pay. I'm going to let Larry Morphew, you need to make this motion on the resolution 2023-26 that authorizes me to accept $85,725 from the governor from his discretionary fund for Hopewell Road. I make a motion. We accept it. And of course, it won't be in the next little bit for that brand to make the check whenever. Well, it will be. Uh, at, it'll, it'll be after you pay before we pay for it. I ain't gonna give Chris no money up front. He's that right now. He's here, by the way. I wouldn't set behind his back. Uh, all right. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Second, McKenna. Any discussion? How long of a section will they be? How long will they get? Mile five tenths. Okay. No, he's, he's said mile five tenths. I would have to look at the phone again. Yeah. Uh, okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Close like time. We, we're going to do it. Uh, I'm going to say just one real quick thing about that. We folks do really well with that fund. So I would encourage you to encourage your legislators. Legislators, they have been whittling at that fund, giving them the governor less and less discretionary funds every year. And uh, I have no idea where it went. Uh, Scott said he didn't get it. So, uh, I don't know where it went, but I would encourage because our county really does well. You remember we did that big long section of Palm Run. We did uh, all the road into this distillery, and now we done this. So we we do well with that fund. Uh, all right, uh, next I'm gonna call on Scott Phelps with the KYCT see and uh, talk to us about our rural secretary funding, which will end up proving his recommendation. <laughs> Good evening. You always do. Good evening, Judge Johnson, members of the fiscal court. I see a lot of familiar faces up there and a few new ones. Uh, as, as Judge said, my name is Scott Phelps. I um, work for Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. I'm a transportation engineer supervisor out of the Oilsboro Section Office. I uh, mainly handle maintenance for Davis, Hancock, and Ohio counties. Uh, part of my job is to prepare estimates and choose the roads for the rural secondary program. Uh, behind me is Matt West. He is our Transportation Engineering Branch Manager uh, for Branch 2. So without further ado, we will dive into this. I've included a lot of uh, additional information this year for those people who are new. Uh, we're going to talk about, a little bit about the route definitions. Uh, the primary route or routes are interstates, parkways, and other long-distance uh, high-volume, high-traffic routes. Uh, that also includes your, your U.S. routes. 
then we have the state secondary routes. Uh, they're shorter. Uh, they allow access to different types of land use activities and then transport people to the main routes. Then we come to the rural secondary routes. Those are routes that are inter count or within a county. Uh, they are primarily farm to market roads where you have a lot of agriculture and effort to get produce and what have you uh, to market. And then we have supplemental routes. Uh, those are still state maintained, but they are routes that for a lot of reasons, either interstate or something came through and they're no longer really needed, but we still have them and still maintain them. So the rural, rural secondary program is funded through 22.2% of the motor fuel taxes. Currently that's 26 cents per gallon. Every cent generates, uh, or in 2022, generated $30 million. So the way that gets account, accounted to the count, allocated to the counties is through what's called the fifths formula. 20% of it is based on your rural road mileage, 20% on your population, 20% is an equal share amongst the counties, and then 40% uh, is based on the amount of rural land, the rural land that you have. So we also have within the rural secondary funds, and this, this is the part I know you guys like, the flex funds. So the flex funds are funds that the county receives that are taken out of our initial distribution of our rural secondary funds. Uh, the counties get a percentage based on the condition of our rural secondary roads. The better our rural secondary roads are, the higher your percentage gets. And what grade will we be? B. B. Currently B. So you're currently getting 20%. Um, there are not very many counties in the state that are at 25. Most are at B. There may be a few out there that are actually lower than that. I think there's a 15 out there somewhere. Several, several lower than that. Yeah. Yeah. So. But a lot of that has to do with, with how we're upkeeping those rural secondary roads. So as for project updates, the only current project we have outstanding as far as rural secondary goes was one we approved last year, which was 505, going from Olayton Road over to 878. And that has a, that is uh, contracted to Scotty's Contracting in Stone, and the contract completion date is November 30th of this year. So the rural secondary, what can they be used for? Resurfacing, ditching, culvert replacements, bridge repairs, garter replacement, soil stabilization. They cannot be used for uh, routes that are not real secondary. In other words, uh, if it is a KY, well, if it is like 69, it's not a real secondary route. It's a secondary route. If it's any other than real secondary, then we cannot spend the real secondary funds on that. So, we cannot install guardrail where guardrail is not currently installed unless it is number one on the list in our guardrail database for the county. We also cannot spend those funds for county or local roadway, roadways, and that that's our portion. The flex funds, you guys spend how you see fit. So this year's funding breakdowns. The flex funds for the county are $343,585 which I will go a long way on, on the county's road system. Our funds is 911,789. So, first project up. We're gonna continue, we want to continue with 505, uh, beginning at the 11.7 and going to the 14.1, which picks up where we stop with the contract that ends November 30th. That goes from US 62 all the way over to Olympia Road, so that portion will have been paved uh, completely within a year. Uh, Larry Craig, who is our superintendent at the maintenance barn, has already replaced several culverts on that section that's getting paved this year, and he'll get started on this next section once it's approved. The second route that we're wanting to resurface is Kentucky 1544. Uh, we paved a portion of that from 62 out to Halls Creek Road two or three years ago. This will finish that out. It will take it from Halls Creek Road all the way over to 1164, uh, right by Cedar Grove Church. Uh, projected cost on that is 226,000. Uh, it's oxidized, it's cracking, it's got some small base figures. Uh, and that's the same reason we chose 505. 505 is cracking worse than, than 1544 is. 
the, the third project we have up is not a resurfacing project. It is a latex overlay on the bridge that goes over the PL Railroad on 1245 at Rockport. Uh, last year, we had to shut that bridge down for three days because we had a full depth uh, concrete collapse there at a joint. And we had to shut down to our bridge crew to come in and make repairs. It's got several patches on it. So the plan is we're going to strip off that top layer of concrete and we'll take out either the bad concrete, replace steel that's bad, and then we'll put a latex overlay on the top which will seal the, that bridge deck. We've been doing a lot of latex overlays over the last few years. We will also seal that concrete with an epoxy sand slurry so water can't get into that concrete bridge railing as well. So I believe I have that one as $310,000 uh, is what we're believing that's going to cost. Now there are about, there's going to be about $150,000 left over. So we wanted to use those funds to purchase pipe and install some of these cross drains that are in 1544 uh, and 505 and some of the other places in the county. Um, we're also going to uh, make other minor, minor repairs, maybe fix some base fares ahead of paving operations, and that just saves us a little bit extra. The last item on there, I've been assured that we won't need to use the rural secondary funds for, so we will not uh, be trying to purchase new surveying equipment. Uh, however, any funds that we don't use this year will roll over into next year's funds. So if we have any questions about that. Uh, a lot of thoughts go into it, because you've already discussed it with me. Do any of y'all have any questions for me? Is that number of funding, did you got the 900, and is that, did, did you guys get that last year? Or no, no, we used to get around eight to nine hundred thousand dollars, but last year we had an issue where several projects went over budget. Yeah. So it was reduced to around 345,000. That's why we could only use do a few miles of 505 last year. Okay. So, but this year, that's since everything is now caught up, we're back up to where we're back for that money you're laying, keeping for next year, when, will that take away from the money you get next year? No, no. If, if there is anything left over, as I said, Larry's got several things on his plate as far as making repairs to other rural secondary roads. Um, and there's something else with that, that bridge deck that I'm talking to Frankfurt about to try to fix underneath the bridge. It's not related to the actual bridge, but the p l Railroad has requested we look into fixing some issues so we don't have uh, problems with them. Uh, that's another thing that the Rural Secondary Program state, they're in as bad shape as we are in the county, but are more, maybe I get more than we are. And that comes from the same pool of money. We need to work on our legislatures to increase that amount of money that comes through that fund through the CRA. We're not going to tell them how to get it, but the only way they'd have is to adjust the uh, gas tax a little bit. But uh, we want to just really push them to try to get us some more money in our CRA. If we did it, automatically we'd get more in the uh, a real secondary program. Yes, uh, what we will need from the fiscal court is approval for our suggestions. And once the Meeting the meeting minutes have been approved and signed for this meeting. We'll need a copy of those to turn in with our projects. Okay, you got hear a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the state projects. Motion to Jason go I second it. Second with Larry Moore for me. Do you have any questions? Oh, yes, and you will also have to make sure to uh. And in that motion, the flex your... funds come to the county. Yes. Yeah. 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 In that, that yeah. <laughs> that, that part of that part of the it, it, Scott, did, did anybody review the flex funds? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they did. But there's counties. There, there are they counties. Not a rural county like to. ours. They yeah. used to. Yes, they used to let us have those flex funds, but it's getting harder and harder to keep. Yeah. Um, especially you know, budgets get tighter and tighter. Um, yeah. We understand that, uh, yeah. but. You know, if you want to let us keep them, we'd be glad to take oh, them. Oh, we don't want you to keep them. I mean, we hate it, but you can't. But we have had some some counties that have a lot less funding, where they only get yeah. 70, 80 thousand that would give them to us to help with some of our state yeah. grants. But uh, it's uh, been a, I'm kind of shocked, really. But yeah, I mean, we've we I haven't received we haven't received any any 
class in the last two years. Judge tell me that they'd rather do that and go to the trouble of getting the bids and the, <laughs> all the paperwork. Yeah. Well, so with my motion, I'd like to uh, accept the state road fund projects excluding the 300 and... It's 345,000, I believe. 340, yeah, 5,000 flex funds that they go to the county. All right. Second. Is there any discussion or further question? Being none, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. We'll get those minutes to you. Thank you, guys. And, and I will state that this year we are in much better shape than we were than most other counties in the state because we only did the one project on 505. Last year when the bids came in, everything went over, and a lot of counties got reduced this year because of that. So Ohio County is actually looking really good as far as they're finding. I have one question for you, Scott. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There's a small project going on in Beaver Dam. Jason's district. Is that on schedule? August 30th is what I heard. I am not over that project. I will I will say I started that project because I saw there was a problem and I requested the funding from Frankfurt. And after we got that got that funding, I sat in on some design meetings and then I was out of it. So uh, but yes, that that was something I think Matt will answer questions about how so about that. But it was a June thirtieth deadline, now it's August thirtieth. Uh, it had a it had a June thirtieth completion date and then uh, when they actually started construction we ran into some underground utilities in the way, different things, um, and some change orders came in, which we automatically have to give extension of uh, time uh, based off our specification on our contract. Um, what hasn't changed is our closure times. Uh, this this current closure, um, open, uh, open Saturday. Uh, that That is, I've, I've really pressed guys to get that open Saturday. Uh, there's been some delays in within that water line leak in utilities. Uh, are there any delegated funds to support the possible damage that may be done to like Ridge Crest Drive? Well, I was going to suggest uh, Broad Street there too. Because we're also getting a lot of traffic on uh, Ocean Church Road, which is your district, um, through that seat. Just cut from 62. Three major cut-through roads. Yeah. There. yeah, we get a lot of traffic there. Is there any is there any funding that's allocated for those churches? Repairs, flex funds. <laughs> no. Well, um, I mean, that, that, well, one of them's a city street. Yeah, so, we, I mean, that would be that would be a false answer. Well, that actually one of them goes right by your house. Yeah, but yeah. So you're having traffic on the semis. Coming. We have we do have a signed detour. We have added a, a, an additional detour at the request of. Uh, the mayor and uh, at this time I don't I, I can't I don't I don't have that kind of authority but I just know in the past when like, we've had the bridges and stuff they come through and I think uh, maybe uh, Chick Road um, Davis Road they come through because of the damage the semis come through there yeah. I've helped to see that in the past whoa well I fixed it I'm not well. there are two two just, different ways to have one time it was so bad it was an emergency fund yeah and another time we got the governor's discretionary yeah. fund for a Davis Road that time I just don't want you guys to forget we won't. about that I, when, when it all is over. I, I understand. Um, but yeah, we're, Jason spent a lot of money fixing that 12 years ago at yeah. Ghost Church Road. Yeah, we did a lot. Of, yeah. And it doesn't it need to support all the heavy traffic. Right, I, I understand. Yeah, we, uh, we'll, we'll and, and is that a different funding source, though, from you guys? Is that like that's that was, federal? That was. No, so back a few years ago, the legislature allocated or gave us what they call unforeseen maintenance mm -hmm. issues and they said we've got this pot of money do you have anything that is out of the ordinary that your maintenance crews can't handle so i sent in several projects that was one of them i asked for three and a half million and they, they gave it to me and i smacked myself in the head so i should have asked for four and a half well, we're glad with it. I mean, it yeah, be yeah, a typically, you know, the, the legislative process got to go on the shift or the six year plan, and then, you know, the legislators got to approve it. It's a, a a project like that is, is a lengthy, and Scott was, yeah. he requested it, got it, and uh, it's, it's a well needed project. I mean, it needed to be. It caused some headaches, uh, but we're, 
it, it's going to be that street's going to be fantastic when we get done. Uh, just because of all the work, we've now got a curve reestablished that we haven't had for probably 40, 50 years that I know of. Yeah. But we did get an email the other day that uh, people have been asking about additional unforeseen maintenance funds, but the legislature has not put any in the budget. So we don't know that we'll ever get that again. Uh, but yeah, that was just one of those projects that we lucked out on and got the, got the money. I think in total, I think out, out of my three counties, out of that unforeseen maintenance projects, I got for right at $5 million total. And $4 million was spent, spent here. Scott did a good job on requesting that. Uh, I know Nine. the other section I'm over didn't, didn't request any, so they got, you know, like they didn't get any money. So I appreciate it. Thanks for staying on the ball, Scott. Yeah, appreciate you. Uh, now, as far as like uh, other roads, like we were talking about, such as like 60, 69, 231, those roads, those are under what we call FDO 5 funding. Mm -hmm. Frankfurt selects what we're going to be doing with those roads. They go out every every summer. They check for uh, damages, to check for cracking, fatigue, that kind of thing, and then they score it. And in the fall, they give us a list, and it ranks the roads, and they say, you're going to get 30 projects off this list. And we have to pick the, the upper projects off of it. Uh, sometimes there are some we can say no, but we aren't given very much leeway on that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate all you update. Any other KYTC questions I might be able to help you with? Or answer? A main street with main. <laughs> yeah. Just the fact that 231 is the yes. true yeah. fare, and then we're using the secondary or county as well as city roads or streets to take the traffic and the heavy traffic. Yeah. Those roads weren't designed or initially put down to accommodate for a long period of time. We don't know. The other question I would have is flex funds. Do you know when they would be released? We've already sent our application in. Um, Ke Kevin should have. I I'll check with my one of my employees that reviews those and uh, see if he's looked at your laws. I think he has. I know he's been in Ohio County he was okay. here a couple weeks ago and looked at them. So he he should have already turned those in if I okay. if I recall correctly. Okay. Well, thank but yes, I once once uh, we get the the traffic off those side streets, we'll. If you if you want to meet with me, we can go take a look here, from Jason. And, and we do appreciate it. I mean, that road needs to be done. That'd be Jason. Okay. Yeah, all Jason's roads. Well, two of our city, Ridgecrest and, yes. and the, the two major ones, the Ridgecrest Broad and then mine is Ghost and Church Road. Okay. <coughs> of course, we don't allow semis on those that hill. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, I do think even though the city's putting no semis. I drove through there the other day and I passed big seven. Oh yeah, that that was I was laughing when I said that. Yeah, I, that, I think that's. And, and, and I I called dispatch three days ago on a seven mile drop. That could turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate thank you getting along. Uh, I want to apologize for the folks that's waiting on the bed opening because uh, we ended up with these other things to do we'll go as quickly as we can uh, we uh no i mean i'm sorry Miranda. we got three things there i'm gonna go ahead and do it i'm sorry you got it. Just turn the page over. it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for her to do this but we'll come back and get the uh, mini excavator beds Two of them and they'll see the long after we go through these bids, so we won't keep everybody waiting so long. Before you, well, we uh, we did have a uh, we did have a, a bid opening and reading meeting before this, uh, so a uh, list of things. We had no bids on contract call, so the first thing we had was a stone bid. We opened up and I asked Michael McKinney to. I read that. Yep. Put stone. Oh, I'm sorry. These annual bids, certain standard things that we use a lot of, 
every year we advertise and take bids on these items. Most are for the road department, but not all. So Stone, uh, Michael. Uh, yes, I'd like to make a motion to accept Martin Marietta materials for our stone needs for the 23-24 annual bids. I'll second his motion. Is there any other questions any of you have on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like so. Uh, concrete in place, no one bid on that either. Steel pipe and pipe bands. Uh, who, who had that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, for the steel pipe and pipe bands for the 23-24 uh, fiscal year, I make a motion that we accept metal culverts each bid. I'll second this motion. To get a motion and second. Uh, any further discussion on that one? Being none, all favor say aye. Uh, opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Um, Jason, you have the yep. next. For the primer tack in RS2 uh, oils, we accepted the uh, asphalt materials ink bid. So I'll make a motion to accept asphalt material ink bid. Second. Second any discussion? None? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. All right, opposed? Like that? Motion carries. Uh, there was no bids on our diesel fuel and gasoline. The next one was uh, black top. And Larry, you have that one. Uh, we had a Scottish was the only one that bid. So. You move to accept. Yeah, I'll make a motion we accept it. Motion to Larry. Have a second? Second. Second by Bo. I got him first. Michael. <coughs> Any further discussion? Being not, I'll vote to aye. Aye. Opposed like sign? Mr. Kerry. Um, Kenneth, you have the plastic pipe. Yeah, we received three bids for that. And uh, we are making a motion to accept all three. That was Ohio County Farm and Garden Center, Borderline, Kentucky, and Ohio Valley Drainage. I make a motion to accept all three. I second. Motion by Ken, second by Larry. And the reasons for accepting all three of them was the fact that if we couldn't find one PVC pipe or a pipe somewhere, we could go to the other place. Yeah, that's correct. And that also allows Nick to shop. Yeah. So the need. On both sides? Aye. Opposed, like saying? That passed. Electrical HVAC, which actually was only HVAC, but uh, Michael, you have that one. Yeah, there, was, there were no bids for the electrical, but on the HVAC, I'd like to make a motion that we accept complete comfort for our 23-24 annual bids needs. Complete comfort. I second it. Motion by Michael, second by Kenneth. Any discussion on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Both like sign. Motion carries. Uh, next ambulance service. Uh, who has that one? Both did. Both. I know you was taking a long time to get them all open, but if you don't care, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to make a motion to uh, accept Comcare's bid for ambulance service for 23.4. Go ahead and give the amount on that one if you don't mind. Uh, you didn't, it was 180. 184,000. No, that was 185,496. 186, wasn't it? 186,496. If you round it. Okay. Will I hear a second? I'll say. Thank you, Jason. Um, well, it's, we have motion and second for discussion. I'll go ahead. They're here, so we can 
Mark, um, there was a significant increase this time, and uh, we would love for you to uh, look at ways of maybe passing more of the billing on to others and being as easy on the county as you can. Feature. Uh, just for clarification, we said a few numbers there, but it was whatever bid amount that. Yeah, whatever the bid amount. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't announce the other bid amounts. Okay. Uh, and really, we only had two, of the, all the bids, we only had two people, the two things, I didn't even have multiple bids. Okay. Yeah, and, and then one, one of them's the next one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like saying? Let's carry. We do love y'all guys and appreciate the job you do. Thank you. I really appreciate the, there's been times that we can really seen and compared our service to other people's and we know that we know that. But there's one area that we could save money in and, and, and I talked to Ann about this and we talked about it years ago and brought it up again this year. We didn't pursue it, but if you all want to at any point, we would be happy. And that's on our fuel costs. You know, we're, we're paying taxes for the fuel. If our bid said that you all would provide the fuel as part of the package, then we would eliminate our fuel costs from our bid. Then we did. talked about that a little bit back there, but then you know, where we did talk about you, it. the fluctuation between fuel. So you're ta it's, it could be one of those. It could go either it way. It could go either way. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. So I, yeah, we're we're gambling on it uh, probably going up. But we think after next year it might go down. So well, we, you know, down. I get you because we're gambling on it every year. Uh -huh. You know, but that's just something. Maybe there'd be a way we could take some of the risk out for both of us and and save what you know what we're paying in, in excess tax there. Okay, Jason. Uh, for trash services, we had two bids. Uh, lowest bid was Republic Services. So I make a motion that we accept Republic Services for. Uh, Trash services for the 23-24 fiscal year. Do I hear a second? I second that. Second by Ken. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. But I really do appreciate that we had multiple bids this time. We usually don't. So, you know, folks, I do appreciate you bidding on it. Because they're over here. I think they heard we are going to have multiple bids and made them sharpen their pencil a little bit. Uh, I hope, so I, do, I do really appreciate you. And uh, would uh, you come very highly recommended, but the court feels like it would got to stick with the lowest bid to uh, protect the citizens of our, our, our taxpayers, you know. All right, we, we finally got that out. We will go back to our agenda where we were. Uh, we're going back to uh, many excavators bid. Charlie, you come up here. We got multiples. You knocked that baby's bottle out of her hand. Take it. You, you big bully. To explain, there's a baby here in the building. She dropped her bottle. So I'm just picking on Charlie. Oh, that's Charlie. Just come around here and help them. Uh, one of, who, which one do you guys want to help with? Them? What well, women? Now this is where you don't know which is better than four. So they're kind of together. It's not labeled, so you have to open all four of them. So there's two. We got to have bids for two separate types of. Uh, so you're saying I could have the, the big one, the big one, and the mini one. Yeah. And we yeah. don't know which one the it, envelopes are to you. Well, but we haven't forgot you, Christina. We'll get to you. So these are the mini for uh, Charlie. They're saying they, they both and run in the same envelopes here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, another big one. So it looks like there's three mini bids and one next bid, I guess you said. Yeah. 
Do we want to go ahead and I guess look at the big one right here? There's just one of them. You, well, since you read them all three, since you got three on that one, that's about it. Your phone's got the three right here in front of me. Okay, read them if you don't mind. The name of the company and the, uh, uh, the plan that you signed. How much they were. That's from right into the list. It's not really 35 June. There's that one. Well, there's three. There's one from okay. John Deere, right into the list. 60. Yeah. So these are all three. The small one. The small one. Okay. 62. So this is the cheapest of what is it? What brand is it? Bro? Yeah, more. Uh, yeah. This is John Deere. Yeah. That's John Deere. Yeah. 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 G 2023 John Deere, uh, Minneapolis Better, uh, $62,283.33. They all have four year, 40,000, 4,000 yeah. hour warranties on it. That was the big thing. Okay. And this is for the same machine, uh, just from. That's McCoy Construction. From McCoy uh, Construction. For the same machine is uh, sixty thousand four hundred twenty-four dollars, and then did he not drop two more? Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, from Construction Machinery Company. Uh, it's fifty-seven thousand nine hundred, but it is a Yan Yan Yanmar, and it has the same you know warranty and stuff. Bucket twenty. Wait, there's another one right here. Okay. There's All another right. bid. So you get a total man. So there's four bids for me. So this is from Boyd Cat. And we're looking at sixty seven thousand <coughs> seven. 33. Is it the same? That, these are all the same horsepower, same all that, right? I'm looking to see if this or, is the same. Or sim, close. So, no, I don't know. Basically, ten thousand dollars for the highest on this one. Yeah. yeah so. Guys, I mean, I know what you're gonna do. I don't have a problem with any, any of them. They all pretty much match the same bid specs that we put out there. Uh, they both. I mean, we got McCoy here, and if I say something wrong, guys, y'all let me know, but they pretty much all do the same thing. What motor has McCoy got? Or the deer? Well, the first two were John Deere. It's a Yamar engine in the 35s. So, yeah. so that's a Yamar selling the Yamar engine. That's a, John Deere's got a Yamar engine in it, so. But now both the first two bids were uh, John Deere's, right? Yeah. There was four bids for the Mini. There's two a cat. John Deere's, there's a cat, cat and a. Uh, I've heard the cat. Yeah. The two John Deere. The, the cat, cat was the really more expensive. It was yeah. 67. That's a cat. Yeah. Yeah. We don't like them. 
that to you, Neil? <laughs> so, uh, it, it's between the Yenmar and the uh, they're, they're the sixty thousand dollars. Well, yeah. 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 And those would be the same price. So to John Deere and Nick, these cab code machines. Did yours have a hydraulic? No, it doesn't have it. Yeah, one bid had the hydraulic coupler and one was without. So that's the reason there's two bids. So this one. Oh, is there another bid in there for you guys? It says hydraulic coupler on it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's 65. Okay, cool. So that's one we would have to go with the 65 because that's in the bid specs. All these, yeah. So this this one's in this one's bid specs. So. Yeah, so right. that's what I'm saying. But yeah. these two right here, this is the. Yeah, that's the one you got with there. Do so they have warranty with them? Any? All of them have four year, four thousand, forty eight months, uh, 40,000, 4,000 working hours. That's one thing we did ask for. So I mean, have you ever serviced with uh, the CMC kind of thing? I have. No. Okay. So I think Charlie has. We have. So I mean, is, and there, we, is there any difference? There's about a 5,000. Service between the CMC and from, from Ryan, would you say? No, I mean, we both got John Deere's, and as a matter of fact, the last time I got a service, we got CMC come over and service them. We've never bought nothing from CMC. We've rented stuff from CMC. And if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they are a local company. They are. Yeah. They're, uh, the owners live in Beaverdam. I'm, but a, I'm not the one. Seller of the bear. So. This is more of what do you use? Which one do you? I mean, because you you guys are going to be using these. You know, for the price. I think the boy, this one, yeah. this one's yeah. out. Here. For the price, and we're trying to save money because I know how Ann is. She's kind of rubbed off on me a little bit yeah, but by saving pennies. And this one's out there on the contracts and stuff. What are you talking about? Four thousand, four thousand dollars though. Uh, yeah. Longevity yeah. of a of a machine that's yeah. been around for ten, you know, eight, ten years. Four thousand dollars in a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's Nick. Which one do you think is the best about getting it serviced? And I have to say this: when we bought that Takahuchi, it's still running. But there's not a lot of difference in the price tag. No. So I, I wouldn't. I would say, gentlemen, which the closest they all are. It's which one you think is going to do your best job? Does the John Deere have the stick control to where you uh, mm -hmm. No, it's, it'll track. Let me walk up here a little closer so I can hear. What'd you, what'd you say, Nick? No, the end mark right? Mm -hmm. All right. Does your machine track by hand or foot only? Does it have a... Uh, no, you've got your foot controls and then two levers. Okay. Front of you. I think the Yanmar and the Cat have a skid steer control to where you flip a button and it controls like a skid steer. If we drive it from the joystick? Yeah, the joystick. To drive it from the joystick. Yeah. Uh, and yours does not... You've got two levers in front of you, you can drive it yeah. with that, or right. you can use your feet yeah. to keep oh, your hands yeah. on the joystick. That's, I mean, that's one of the biggest things that if you track it, but it makes it a whole lot easier. I mean, well, where, where's the, the cat? The cat one's on there. Yeah. Yeah. It was considered it was 67 uh, pounds. I was have that. Yeah. I thought, I didn't know, I didn't know John Deere had, yeah. had implemented that yet into their excavator. Not yet. No. That's one of the. I didn't know Yanmar was doing that yet either. No. No, no. And that ain't. I know Bo, what you're going to ask. That is not on the bid specs, what he just yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's but that's an added feature. It's just yeah. one of the features that's yeah. added into some of them that started. Yeah. Now. But neither, neither of the ones that we're comparing at this point have it. Yeah, the Yanmar. The Yanmar does have it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, that's all. Yeah. And you said it's easier to drive. Mm -hmm. Definitely to the right. I mean, that's what you can't bet. What's your preference? Yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm
Yeah, so Ann's kind of rubbed off on us. Yeah. We love you, Ann. Do, do I have a motion? Which one? 45, about four or five thousand. That's it. Right. 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 Bo, you gonna make a motion? Uh yeah. Uh, make a motion to accept the uh, CNC's uh, CNC's uh, bid for the twenty twenty three Yamar thirty five. Uh, and this is the one for the charter department. I will, you know, charter department. And uh, also, can authorize to help you get a little bit. We'll pay for it from the emergency funds, emergency uh, uh, surplus, and then it's going to pay it back into that with the FEMA funds. No, was that the lowest one? Yes. Okay. So uh, we're going to pay for it out of the emergency funds and then write it back out of the surplus. Actually, out of FEMA. Out of FEMA. Okay. And, okay. and, and in that motion that you included, when the FEMA funds come in, did it go back into the emergency yeah, fund? He did. Yeah. Okay. He did. I'm, I'm still looking at stuff. So I'm not like he did. Okay. Yeah. So uh, is there a second? Second. Second with Jason. Or Michael. Michael, wait. Take him by Michael. Uh, any further discussion? This was hard. The green. Being none, I'll favor the I. Both like sign. That that one is Bob. Okay, now we got another one. Okay, this is on the, the larger He's got the excavator. He's got the for the road department. Yeah. Uh, this is the this is not cat three hundred eight. Yeah. Uh, it comes with a standard warranty, two years, 2,000 hours, full machine coverage. Uh, the bid is for uh, after the uh, Kentucky Master Agreement discount is $144,495.25. I'd like to make a motion to accept that bid from Boyd Cat for the Cat 308. Here, second. Second. Second to Kim. Both from the micro, second to Kim. Any further discussion? Being none, all folks say aye. Aye. Post like sign. That one done. Miss Christina. Before we move on, I'm, on. Take, I'm sorry. Uh, in regards to the mini excavator, yeah. uh, we we had talked briefly in regards to uh, oh, I'm sorry. A, yes. a trailer. I'd like to make a motion to uh, purchase a 22 foot tilt deck trailer, a 18 foot tilt, and four non tilt in the front for implements. Uh, this is from Litchfield Truck and Trailer. We didn't accept bids on this as it's under the bid spec uh, amount, but this trailer seems to be very well priced and it, it is available right away and uh, I think Charlie's actually seen the trailer. Um, there's a picture here if anybody would like to see it and it's for $6,950 and that would be to accommodate that mini excavator that we've just agreed to purchase. And this would allow all three entities, the, the park, the uh, road department and emergency management to be able to move the equipment with any of the three trucks. And include that the big money that's going to be used for to go back and Right. It would be the same stipulations as the other uh, for the piece of equipment itself. Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Motion by Michael. Second to Jason. Further discussion? Who is it from? Litchfield. It's right there. All in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. We're buying the floor out stuff tonight, aren't we? Now, Christina. Sorry, Christina. That's all right. I have a potential loan applicant for you guys to look at, the Rosine Barn LLC. Um, they've come to us and applied for $80,000 to renovate the general store and to uh, just do some 
pretty major renovations and um, they're going to use that as a base of operations to help operate the Rosie Bar and Jamboree and they have a whole uh, a really well thought out business plan and goals and objectives they are working with um, other venues of the same sort in the region to kind of build a strategy and uh, we believe this will really support economic development and tourism so we recommend it to you guys and the OC the board is OC the board voted on uh, the 6th they approved I have the uh, paperwork if you guys will look at it I wasn't sure if you had that well uh, did they put anything up for collateral? Main position yeah. first on the real estate, I think, is what okay. they indicated to. Right. Well, that's great. It'd be first uh, indication of uh, first group on lien on the real estate. So that's great. But that's, I guess, when you do these projects, you're, you are going to keep it to the air, or, you know, that's not yours. Oh, yeah. 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 You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. The, the bulk of this will go to renovation of the store. Store. For those of you that don't know, the front part of the store was built 90 years ago, and the second part of it was built in 1947. So 33 and 47, and the barn was built in 47. Yeah. And right now, there is nothing inside that store but the floor. And uh, in fact, the uh, it's kind of nice, and we hope it turns out. But once we took the ceiling out. The, the ceiling is actual boards from 1933. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be great. Yeah, that's all. I mean, it's but yeah, barn, the, but the bulk of it is going to be because there was some floor that unfortunately had to come out, uh, and we've got to get some uh, uh, ADA uh, entrance in. And I mean, there's there's just a lot to it. But it's a it's a pushing hundred year old building, so that's where the bulk of this will go. Yeah. So you need a motion to accept the loan. Yeah. Yes. We need the what, the interest rate. I have a question in regards to how are the funds uh, dispersed? Are they going to vendors or directly to the, uh, I know in the past we talked, or there had been talk that there was going to be some change in that. How is that going to take place in this particular instance? Right. Well, we um, we really do support paying directly to the vendors, but in this instance, because they have uh, on their list here all the breakdown of what they're going to spend this money on, and it's going to be multiple contractors. So we figure we just do one check to the beneficiary or the grantee this time. So their so their business plan is well laid out. To where Very well laid know, out. You know what the end result should be. Yes. All right. Yeah. Actual. actual and we're at our first. Usually working on design. I hear most of Motion. motion by Kenneth Callaway to second and second by uh, Jason Bullock to uh, accept the recommendation of the OC the board to make the loan to Rosing. The Rosing Barn. Thank y'all. Thank you. Everything going pretty smooth? Yeah, it'll, it'll be going a lot smoother once we can get all these contractors wrangled. Long folks in? Hold like that. Let's carry. I'm sorry. Okay, you mind putting that back in your motion to have right to check, guys? Yeah, I'll include that in my second. Yeah. Who's in motion? Okay. Um, did any committees meet within the last few weeks? I know everybody's been busy. I don't know of any. Of course, the road committee met today to open the road beds. But uh, other than that, I don't know if any committees have made it. Uh, uh, well, ne next time I'll probably go to send out a memo to each committee for it to get some sort of reports going again so you'll have them. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to send Bo and McKenna a, a copy. Well, Michael too, but he had been getting them. I'm going to give him them copies of who the committees are. All the committees are standing. They were expecting the reports right um master's comments uh, i'm going to start out of order because i've got a question uh for for uh, larry larry did uh, you get the information from the fire department to make that uh yeah, they, to be they and yes. did the fire chief leave you anything to with specs on what he wanted to advertise for bids for he wrote down I think we're supposed to be here. Oh, well, there he is. Okay, there he is. Bring it up to Larry. 
We'll advertise for Betty and see where she goes. truck uh, with a compressed air foam system, uh, 100 gallons, uh, preferably on a uh, one-ton chassis uh, to replace a brush truck that we have that is uh, currently on a three-quarter ton chassis. Um, I don't know what all information you guys need. Uh, that, that's probably it. Uh, we can run the ad for two weeks and we still have to accept the court, so we're just talking about running the ad for it now. Uh, even though most likely we have one located that fit this deal. But they'll have to submit the bid. Larry, do you want to advertise for it? Yeah, I'll make a motion to advertise for play well, yes, or Okay. Does he got a, you have a list of specs right there that you want for it or whatever? Well, I got a truck he in mind. That, uh, yeah, if he gives specs for that, we'll add on. Yeah. It'd be better if he did. Okay. Yeah. We'll scratch the company name on it. Yeah. Well, it ain't got it on there. But okay, that's, what it, that's what I'm looking for. Miranda will need that to run the ad by. Yeah. Okay, I'll second that. Larry's well, uh, Kenneth did. Okay. Motion second. All right, any further discussion? Being now, I'll take the aye. Uh, we're going to start in the opposite direction on the master. Do you got anything else, sir? Yeah. Uh, I don't know the solution for it. They're still in signs. Yes, is uh, Nick. Yeah. Well, you know, years ago we had a reward. We did like a reward. Uh, so you did advertise a reward of it. Rockridge County's got one now. If they catch you, it's $500 and it goes up every time. Is there any way y'all could do a well side out of the post? Now, what was it? Oh, uh, is there any way that y'all could weld the signs of the post? <laughs> or there's a steel in them? Uh, we've tried a lot of things. Uh, I don't know what's going on with these, why they're still on them so bad, but we spend several thousand dollars every year replacing the signs. And you're way behind now. And we're, we've got them. They're, they're ordered, but as soon as we put them up, there's there's still a, uh, now with state whenever we have to put up bridge signs we have to take a picture as soon as we put them up and send them to state because they'll come out a week later and the signs are already gone they had an incident today on Cape Run and they, yeah. they were stopped there and the person who lives there told them that's the right place to go on yeah, I, I don't know about that, but I, I was at Cape Run whenever we had to make that run. But the, the road sign was gone. Yeah. And uh, Are there still stop signs? Stop signs still are. They're still the there? Signs, the road name signs are gone. I was supposed to say, because that could be, if you run that, that yeah. the kids need to know that oh, they could be they're, they're taking everything. They're taking, a lot of times they take the post with them. Yeah. And I'm sure they're laying in a ditch somewhere, you know. But even Weedman Loop, whenever I was coming back out, the sign's gone there too. Stop sign's still there, but the road name. I and mean, we've got several uh, road name signs ordered right now. If I was a chemist, I would invent something you could paint across the sign that would, wouldn't would block the view of it, but would stick your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But, but I mean, like it would be so gooey, they would not want it. So everybody at the road department would have to stick to their hands. No, you paint it on and after you put it up. Charlie's got a couple. We, we've been, Charlie's tried before to put game cameras out and, you know, try to catch them. Uh, we've even tried putting a, a drill in a hole through them and putting a cable on them. To keep them. But what they do is they break them off to where you can't 
There's no way you can weld them up. I was going to say, can you not weld tack them? That, I mean, that seems like it would pop, be... Well, the pop rivet. Well, if they're but, breaking them off, they're not yeah, taking the, they're, they're not the taking rivet the out. They're just breaking them off. So. What's, the, what's the current punishment for for having them? Adam says that. that. I was. Or, or Justin. I, I believe that uh, as far as the state goes, I'd have to look at it, but we haven't had many citations come in with respect to it because it, it's certainly hard to catch them, but I believe a hundred dollar fine. So it may be something that uh, the, the county, and I haven't looked into this, and we'd, I'd have to check to make sure that we could uh, see if we could uh, increase that through our own ordinance. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd be good. Uh, I'm, because I'm right now the, the, the punishment is, ah. other than you can do a theft, which could be a class B in addition to the sign, um, so you could possibly do a 90 day, I'd have to look to see, but there is a specific statute at the go to the state side. I think we'd like to do that and publicize it greatly, yeah. wouldn't you Larry? How, how, much, is, how much is a typical uh, road sign? Lake Tire, probably five or six, how much? Fifteen to hundred dollars. Two weeks down in the fifth district. And they make one up. Fifty of them down right now, like thank you. But so we make the punishment on the very you can tell them to the people at the road park for two hundred dollars. <laughs> it's good, right? Yeah. Well Helen has indicated that Breckenridge County may have supplemented some of theirs. I can talk to the uh, Breckenridge County to, to see what their ordinance is and we can maybe look at it to see if we want to review. Justin, they put it on Facebook every now and then Breckenridge County does that because I apparently they have the same problem. But and they, they post it on too. Facebook that says this is what it's gonna cost you if we catch you. The second time, and then they, it just you know they had like it's drawn out. It, it is just the, the biggest problem is catching them in a rule setting. It's the biggest problem. Yeah, and, no, and, and it would help if you did see that a sign was gone and, and, and in someone's home or in their garage that, that you may give that indication uh, because you know somebody has them in the garage or in their home and. Uh, and so it's just uh, possibly reporting too. That's all I can do. You look into that a little bit more on sure. on our our ability to yeah let let's let's restate that yeah. several Johnston streets. I've seen them. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Bob. Your uh, No comments. Jason. Michael. No comments for first district. Okay. Uh, does anyone in the audience have any good thing for the good of the body? If not, I'm going to say thank you everybody for coming. It's been a really nice meeting. I want to thank you for the magistrates and uh, Justin, Dan, and all the officials that's here, as well as our audience. It's been good. What? Uh oh. Say again, what? Surplus generators. Did y'all get my request to surplus two generators? No. Okay. No. Do you need to do it? No. You got the information on them? I don't. I thought it was, I thought it was right here and here. I'll do it next time. Hey, get you the emergency management guy to do it for you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we could do to surplus them. We could do it with the serial numbers and everything to be given to Miranda to enter into the men. Okay, be okay if you guys do that and to put in your motion that, that, that he will provide the serial numbers to. I'll make a motion to accept the sheriff's uh, two uh, generators for surplus, given that he gives the uh, serial numbers to Miranda, to Bob. Okay, have a second. Second. Second McKinnon. All right. I'll push out. Uh -huh. Hold like that. Uh, Justin, right? Okay. Well, appreciate you everybody again. And uh, Nick, uh, you want to train us? This speech will stand adjourned. We'll see you back in a couple weeks.